Now, if you need some help and I'm not available, then the next best option is to come up here and new to Office 2016 is that light bulb, the tell me what you want, what you really, really want feature that when I hover over it, you can see in the pop-up below. It says just start typing here to bring features to your fingertips and get help. Okay, click in it and then type in a keyword or keywords that you want to get help on like comments. I want to learn more about them or maybe insert one because the first section up at the top gives you the commands you can go ahead and click on it to execute it like to insert a comment and as you recall in an earlier training video you can also right click on it to add it to the quick access toolbar that way you don't have to keep typing in comments to bring up that command or go to the review tab to insert comments you can just come up here and click on it and insert a comment in a single click so you get the commands and then if you want to learn about it and not execute a command then you can get help on comments when you hover over it opens up a window here you can insert or delete a comment, learn more about it, change the author name for review comments. Let's go ahead and choose one, this one. Opens up the help task pane. It gives you a summary of it, and then it asks, what do you want to do? Well, I'd like to learn how to insert a comment. Click on it, and hey, it gives us some step-by-steps. Isn't that fun? Now, when you're done with that, you can, of course, go ahead and close out of the task pane, or you can click in the search help box here, type in some additional keywords, and look it up by clicking on the look up button. Or you have the build button, the ellipsis, go ahead and click on it, and you can go to the home part of the help task pane when you click on it. it takes you to the start screen, and in earlier versions of Word, it used to be a little question mark in the upper right hand corner that you click on, and it would bring up the screen. In any case, that's where it takes us, and we can go ahead and type in some keywords. We can look at some of the top help topics, or we can click on the build button again and go to the Office Help Center. Maybe that can shed some light on a few things. There's popular topics, topics by category, close out, or finally, click on it again. And if you're brave, go ahead and contact them. So click on it, and it wants you to describe your issue and get you to the right person. So type in the details. The more details, the more we can help. Click in the box and say, I have some comments. It's not very detailed, but give more than that. And then be sure to read the privacy policy if you accept it. And then go ahead and click Next. And it gives us some articles that they want you to look at so you don't waste time chatting when it's already there. But if you still want to chat, go ahead and click on Chat. I'm not going to do that. I'm good. And when I'm done, I can go ahead and close out or go back. Let me go ahead and close out and come back up here and type in Printing different keyword and there's uh, some print commands that I can go ahead and click on get help on printing there's some articles or instructions to help me or I can go to all help and support opens up the help task pane the same view that we were in just moments ago or let me go ahead and close out of that let's go ahead and type in printing again you can also do what's called a smart lookup on printing and you can see in the pop-up you can learn more about the text you select by well we don't have it selected down here we typed it in here, but if you also had it selected, you can see definitions, images, and other results from various online sources by clicking on it to bring up the corresponding task pane for printing, and you can explore it or define it. First of all, exploring it, let's see, Wikipedia explains it here. You can get more, or scroll down and find out what's on the web, like, hey, here's a company, vistaprint.com. Ooh, that's fancy. I hope they can get my website up there. In any case, you can see what they got there, or click more, and continue your search here. And you can go ahead and click back, and maybe you want to define it, what's printing. There it is as a noun, the production of books, newspapers, or other printed material. And as a verb, you can also listen to the pronunciation. Print. So you may have not heard it, but I'll let you try it on your end. And we'll go ahead and close out. A couple of other ways you can do a smart lookup. If you don't want to come up in here and type in a keyword, save yourself some time, like if I want to look up cure all, you can either go ahead and click anywhere within the word and come up here, click on the references tab, go to the research group and click on smart lookup. It brings up the corresponding task pane for cure all, the pronunciation, again, listen to it, the noun, you can explore it, you can define it, or let me close out, you can go ahead and let's right click on this word and do a smart lookup. That's a lot faster. When in doubt, right click, because chances are when you do, you'll get what you're looking for. And in this case, the smart lookup again. So exploring and defining.
And if you want to try your luck, you may want to go ahead and instead of just right clicking on a word, select a group of words and see how smart lookup handles it and see if it's that smart. Right click. Let's test it. Smart lookup. What does it do? Okay, from there, disease, harsh environmental conditions. It's thinking maybe mold, climate change, because it talks about the environment, environmental factors. What are we defining? A noun, well, it went with the first word in the selection disease. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.